Hey guys, Todd Helms with Eastman's out here today at the rifle range to bring you a rifle review of the Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge Rifle. So I'm going to run down through all the specs on the Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge Rifle and tell you why, if you're looking for a new rifle this season, you need to be taking a hard look at this one because this B14 Wilderness Ridge Rifle from Bergara has been an impressive shooter so far. Unfortunately, we're a little ahead of season out here in Wyoming, and I haven't had a chance to put it to use in the field. I've just been using it on the range, and it's impressive. It is an incredibly accurate rifle. This one is a 6.5 Creedmoor, and it's a shooter. Every I've shot it out to 500 yards just this morning. The wind's picked up. I've had to make some windage adjustments, which is no big deal. Once I got my windage adjustments right, this rifle just drove tax. Once you get back in the wilderness areas of the West, your gear has to perform. And that's what Bergara had in mind when they designed the Wilderness series of rifles. And this B-14 Wilderness Ridge rifle is purpose built to be tough as nails, super durable, give you high end performance, all at a price tag that's not going to break the bank. This particular model of B14 Wilderness Ridge Rifle in 6.5 Creedmoor is gonna hit right around $1,000. Now that's MSRP, so you might find it for a little less, you might find it for a little more, but that's right in where you're at. And I'm here to tell you after shooting this and playing with this gun that $1,000 for the features that this Bergara sports is a good deal. Anytime I can take a rifle out of the box, mount a scope, bore sight it, sight it in at 100, and run my dope chart out to, in this case, 500 yards today with the wind that's as far as I can shoot. I have stretched it out a little bit further on a, on a calm day, and it just hammers whatever I pointed at. And I can tell you with 100% certainty this rifle is going to be going with me on some hunts this fall, and I am looking forward to putting it through the paces in the field. Hopefully, we can bring you some actual kill shots with this rifle. All right, so new for 2021, this rifle is sporting a 4140 chrome molly steel single piece bolt body. It is, the bolt body is fluted right on the Bergara label. The bolt itself has a spiral cut flute on it, and it, this thing just adds that rigidity that you need as a foundation for accuracy. The rifle tips the scales, this particular model in 6.5 Creedmoor, right about seven and a half pounds. With the scope, I'm sitting at just a shade, and well, with scope and ammo fully loaded, I'm just a shade over eight. I like that weight. It's heavy enough that I can shoot it accurately, but it's light enough that I can carry it up and down mountains all day and it's not gonna slow me down, it's not gonna weigh me down. After all, this thing has wilderness in the name. When you think wilderness, like I said, you're thinking miles, you're thinking long distance, you need a rifle that you can carry easily in the backcountry. And this is gonna do it for you. Right at, like I said, naked, this rifle's about 7.5, 7 7.4, 7 7.5 pounds. Once, once I put the lighter weight scope on it, lightweight rings, mounts, you're looking at just a shade over eight. Super portable package, highly accurate. Bergara has their world famous number five contour steel barrel on this rifle. That is an incredibly rigid and incredibly accurate rifle that's still not going to be incredibly heavy. As we know, light, whippy, pencil thin barrels tend not to be the most accurate things in the world. And Bergara mitigated that with this number five contour barrel. And this thing has held sub minute of angle groups at every yardage that I have shot it at. Due in large part to the rigidity and accuracy of this number five contour steel barrel. Right now I'm running it right at advertised velocities with this and my dope cards are lining up perfectly. And it's just, like I said, it just hits where I point it. It's perfect. Four hundred yards, not a problem. Another thing I really like about this is this oversized bolt knob. 
This thing is like really, man, it's just, it's perfect sized. It's not too small where I'm kind of searching for it. It's big, it's knurled. So even if it's wet or slippery or my hands are cold, I can get a hold of that really well. Granted, I usually run the bolt with my palm like that. Maybe my fingers a little bit on the upstroke, but it's, it's very easy to get a hold of. And I really like that it's a little bit bigger. It's not giant. It's not gonna get caught on things on your backpack or your clothing or in the brush, but it just makes operating this bolt that much easier. At the end of the barrel, we're threaded 5 8 by 24. I can put a variety of muzzle devices on this rifle. This one shipped directly with Bergara's Omni Brake. It's a multi-directional uh, muzzle brake and it knocks down the recoil about 35%, felt recoil that is. And shooting this in a 6.5 Creedmoor, which is not a punishing round by any means, it was a lot like shooting, I'd say, a 22-250. It was very, very mild, very easy to shoot, almost surprisingly so. First couple rounds I torched off, I was expecting a little bit more punch, and it just wasn't there, which is nice because when I started shooting steel, that muzzle break and that reduction in recoil allowed me to actually spot my own hits through the rifle scope. I could see exactly where that bullet was hitting. I had about three minutes of wind to deal with at over 500 yards. And with that muzzle break, I was able to call my own shots. And, and man, if you're in a hunting scenario and you can call your own shot and God forbid it happens, I know you miss on the first one or maybe you don't make a perfect shot on the first time, that muzzle brake on this in a variety of chamberings is going to allow you to see, if you're using proper shooting technique, where your bullet's hitting, and you're going to be able to make adjustments on your own in the field. That's a huge reason why I personally really like muzzle brakes. All right, so the finish on the metal of this Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge Rifle is Sniper Gray. I think it's sharp. I think it is really good looking. And one of the other things I like about it is that Sniper Gray is, it's stealth, man. And it is just, it doesn't shine, it doesn't glare, and it's unique. It kind of sets your rifle apart from everybody else's in hunting camp, which if you're into that, that's fine. If you're not, okay, whatever. But functionally, it's a great finish. It's tough. It's going to resist rust. It's going to be low maintenance when you're in the wilderness, which is the whole point of the B-14 Wilderness Series. The stock on this rifle is an American style synthetic stock. It has a soft touch finish to it, which is, it's nice. I like that soft touch. It's a little tacky. Tacky is in, it's got a nice texture to it. Makes it easy to grip. They did put some checkering on that stock, so it's really got a firm, sure gripping points on it, or index points. And the cool thing that Bergara does with this Wilderness Series is it's hand painted at the factory. So it's unique. Again, I like the black speckle. I like everything about this rifle. The way it looks is just exceptional, but that stock is designed to perform under extre in extreme conditions. And it's not exactly extreme sitting here at the range, but like I said, I haven't had a chance to take it in the field, but I have no doubt that like other Bergara rifles that I have used in the field, it's going to be phenomenal. The trigger on the Bergara is really nice. This one's set at right about three pounds from the factory and it is the Bergara performance trigger. And I have been very pleased. It's crisp, it's clean, it just breaks like glass and I couldn't ask for a better trigger in a factory rifle for a thousand dollar price tag. Another thing that Bergara has done with the B14 Wilderness Ridge Rifle is they put a hinged floor plate on this. Instead of a, instead of a detachable magazine, it's a simple, lightweight, easy to use design of that hinged floor plate and it works flawlessly. One of the things that has been, because Bergara is fairly new in producing factory rifles, you see a lot of questions online and different forums. What scope mounts does my Bergara rifle take? So basic Remington 700 bases are going to be what you need to mount a scope to this Bergara, and which is nice because you can find those all over the place. Lots of different companies make Remington Model 700 rings, or not rings, but bases to mount a scope with, put them on the rifle, mount it up, and you're good to go. It's really simple. 
All right, so you're thinking that's great, awesome features, but what chamberings is this thing offered in? Well, this is a 6.5 Creedmoor. It's offered in a 6.5 PRC, a 308 Winchester, a 7mm Remington Magnum, 300 Win Mag, the 300 PRC, and the 28 Nosler, all with twist rates that are going to shoot long for cal or heavy for caliber, long high BC bullets. This is a one and eight twist in this 6.5 Creedmoor. Bergara has an accuracy guarantee of one MOA or less using premium factory ammunition, and I achieve that easily with the Hornady loads and the Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge Rifle. And like I said, when you're out and about and you're in a sporting goods store this fall, and you're thinking about maybe a new rifle, you need to be looking at the Bergaras. They stack up really well against everything else. I've been incredibly impressed with the accuracy of this. And in the past, when I've shot one of their Premier Series in a 6.5 PRC in a hunting scenario, performed flawlessly. And in fact, I wasn't the only one that shot that rifle that year. A couple of other folks from the office uh, took deer with that rifle, hammered them every single time. Thanks for watching this review, guys. While I've got you here, drop down, punch that subscribe button, leave us a comment, flip on the notifications so you get notified every single time that we drop great content like this gear review here at Eastman's. Leave us a comment, let us know your questions, let us know what else you wanna see us review. Check us out on all the social media platforms. Check us out on all of our podcasts, wherever you get those. We've got lots of great stuff here going on at Eastman's. Thank you for your time, and until, that, until next time, we'll see you in the field.